All right, tonight's mission, going on a 22 mile hike and bike. And it's seven o'clock. So with any luck, I'll be done about two in the morning. Here we go. First off, I gotta admit, vlogging and driving a stick is kinda hard. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. This car, hold on. Basically you start at Middle Cottonwood and you go to the top of Saddle Peak, which is like just shy of 4,000 vertical. And then you run the ridge all the way down to uh, the M. And then at the M, I got my bike stashed there. And then I'll ride that all the way back on the roads, all the way back to Middle Cottonwood. It's totally gonna suck. And things that are hard, if you can do them and accomplish them, it just is really empowering. You know, when you can push yourself beyond your own comfortable threshold and just keep going, like, you just you really kind of learn what you're made of. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm gonna go have a little bit of a supper fest. Just got the trailhead. Here we go. I'm 122nd of the way done. <laughs> Saddle be that thing. And then take the ridge all the way back, and way over that ridge to the M, and then bike all the way back, to, back over here. Never trust the weather, man. They're calling for clear skies like all night and the rest is week, so. A little bit of lightning. Huh, well, have to keep an eye on the weather. Hate to be up here with a lightning storm. So I'm like two hours in, and there's lightning like right above me. And I'm, I'm like 500 feet from the top of Saddle Peak. Probably the next two hours is gonna be up on an exposed ridge. So I'm not really liking that. And second, my main headlamp decided to basically break on me. The uh, the button used to turn it on is jammed down. I can't get it on. Unfortunately, I mean, that's why I always pack a spare. But, I don't know, two strikes. I feel a little weird about this right now. I feel like tonight might not be the night. I think I'm gonna call it. I think I'm gonna do this again in a few days. and. I just kind of have a weird feeling about it. But what do you do? Sometimes you gotta listen to the weather and kind of trust your gut, so. Better play it safe and sorry. So I just wanna take a little bit of time and talk about risk management. So a lot of people think what I do is like super crazy and wild and like even like reckless at times, but really it's far from reckless. You know, everything I do, it's a calculated risk. For example, say there's two routes to get from point A to point B. One route is super steep and sketchy. The other route is gonna be quite a bit longer, but it's, it's gonna be quite a bit safer. Right? And I, I always choose a safer route. And I do because I wanna be in complete control of the risk that I put myself in. So lightning is something you just don't have control over. But I can choose to not be stupid and like walk this big giant ridge line with a carbon fiber tripod in my backpack, which is like way worse than sticking an aluminum golf club in the air when there's lightning. Anyways, my point is just use your head and don't put yourself in situations that you can't control. That's enough on risk management. Let's, uh, let's end vlog number two. Let's fast forward about 15 hours to my buddy Phil and I scouting some new country. <laughs> They don't have this in Chicago. <laughs> I'm like a toad in the trail to scare the crap out of you. <laughs>